So this used to be an old uh, like fish processing facility and the boats used to come in here with the fish. However, you know, not anymore. But it's still very pretty. Old classic Swedish houses and the ocean. This is nice. It's like you're in a tunnel because the trees are so tall and so thick. So uh, this is what they call the summer houses. It's a classic Swedish thing. You uh, own a house that you use about maybe three months a year during the summer without insulation and then after the summer you just let the house sit there and then you move back to your permanent house. So that's very popular. Um, I guess it's changing in a way. More and more people are, you know, going overseas for traveling instead. But that's how it used to be. That you had your summer house and that's where you went for vacation. To just relax and chill out. Right up ahead there is a fellow that is doing a bit of a small scale farming and he's uh, he's selling his produce here. Oh, nice car by the way. Um, so he has a few different things. So this is his store in the middle of nowhere. So, he goes to cheek. So it's like farm to tea sort of thing. It's very nice. We got some uh, strawberries uh, from there. So this is on the way to the golf club. So we will arrive soon, and uh, I will show you the, the local golf club, which is pretty good. Here it is, the local golf club. It's a beautiful day. Blue skies. Which is really, really awesome and it makes you really happy. Because, you know, we had some really rainy days when I came here and it's not fun at all. But now it's fun and it's good. And people are taking the opportunity to enjoy the golf. And we have nice weather and uh, we'll just uh, go through this uh, little part of the forest before we get to the main part of the golf club that's where they have the office and, and the restaurant and all that all right here in the center of the golf club Service boy. 
they have this golf club and they have this beautiful uh, bridge and then they have the really pretty downtown square so this is the main office where they have like a restaurant and you can buy golf clubs and rent golf clubs yep and then you can use the bikeway all the way over to downtown which is cool and I will show you I will show you the bridge shortly it's a very very nice bridge I think it's it even won some form of prize so it's kind of famous and yeah I think it's pretty cool even traveling like through places I would say that would be a first class bridge Hey hey This is where my mom and dad was uh, thinking of uh, buying a flat over there in the building on the right and uh, you can see the beautiful bridge here when it's turning to the right that's probably the, the prettiest part of the bridge and then you have the downtown area when you're crossing that bridge and on the left here we have what we call Caninon which would be the bunny island in English and uh, yeah, it's a very popular spot for teenagers and people to have a few drinks and have a bit of fun. So yeah, th thanks to this island here on the left, uh, the population of Sørvesborg is, is growing rapidly. And one of the reasons is that police can't really take you because they can't drive here. So they have to walk and you know, cops, they like to eat and not walk. So you, you can drink in peace and have a good time. So anyway, we're crossing over here and we got the downtown area coming up. So, welcome to the Esplanade. And uh, here we have our own uh, kissing spot. So if you want to kiss your girlfriend, this is where you do it. Or, as in Sweden, your boyfriend, because it's all about happy rainbows and everyone loves everyone, and you know. But that's another story. And coming up on the left, we have the famous ice cream boat. This boat doesn't have a motor, this boat is not very good, however they make really good uh, ice cream and good fish, so I've heard, I've never tried it, so don't take my word for it, it might be crap. And uh, here we have uh, the central hospital of service Bory on the left there, it's a very good hospital. It's like one of the world's top 10, which is pretty impressive considering this is a small town. And we got the train station on the left here. And our own famous skateboard ramp. The kids love to play there with their scooters. It was supposed to be skateboards, but, you know, the guys with the scooters took over. Anyway, back at my parents' place. <laughs> 